Hello, welcome to my very first purchases video uh, from your diecast banner racing cars. Um, so I go out, out about looking around for stuff and buying stuff online. Um, also like classic buses and classic trucks uh, for display use. Um, got a nice collection which I bought this month. Um, so as you can see, first up, uh, I have this Matchbox Milk Tanker. Uh, it looks slightly play-worn. Uh, bit of a broken exhaust there. Yeah, well, please bear with me. I'm doing this on my phone because I don't have an iPad. So I hope, hope you'll enjoy this. Yeah, so, yeah, so one or two bits missing off it there, but I'm sure that could be repaired or replaced. Yeah, so that's the first one. Right, the next one is this uh, ambulance, which is by... Made by, I'm not sure what the make is. It's a London ambulance made in China. Well, I've never done one of these as a banger racing before, so it's the first for me. Um, any parts that can come off it can be salvaged, uh, reused. Yeah, looks okay, back door's open. Next lot of these two matchbox. I'm not too sure what these are, to be honest. Uh, they are just a K49 ambulance. Yeah, these two are another first for me. Also, I've never done, done these before as banger racers. Um, looks like a bit on top can come off, uh, glass can come out, um, probably the front as well. Yeah, so that's those. The next one I'm pretty fond of, which I found online, is this Kararama Stroke Hongwell Mercedes Police Car. Kararama, you, you probably know who usually make the model trucks. Uh, I've done the Majorette version of this. But this is the Kararama version. Again, slightly play worn. Um, self saves parts on here, it looks like the glass. Uh, probably the lights. The grill, perhaps. Yep, that light's already missing on the corner there, but that doesn't matter too much. Right, I'm going to leave this one here because I'm going to bring in its smaller brother. Which is that one there. Yeah, th this one caught me out online. I was expecting it to be the same size as its larger brother. But unfortunately it wasn't. So now I can still do something with it. Uh light bar can come off, glass can come out. Yeah, yeah, so that's those two. Right, next one. Is this big old beast. Right, now this is a Polysteel or Polysty is an Italian make. It's a Volvo 164E. That metal base there, screw fitting. Um, 
front bumper missing and back, back light bumper as well. Uh, opening doors there, front and rear, bonnet opens. Uh, the only other polysteel model I've done is the Jaguar XJ 4.2. So it's, it's Volvo, it's also a first for me. Yeah, I should look forward to doing this one at some point. There you go. Right, next up is this Matchbox Jaguar. Uh, yeah, Jaguar XJ6, Matchbox Super Kings. Not too bad condition. So again, the glass can be saved. Um, the front bumper and grille, uh, rear lights and the chrome bit on the back. That's another good one. There you go. Right, next up, something that I've done many times is the London, is the Corgi London Taxi. Uh, play one condition, front bumper broken off, rear bumper broken off, but it doesn't, doesn't matter too much, um, probably the grill could be saved, definitely the glass, yeah, that's it really, yeah, that's that one. Right, next up, there's another car I've done many times. It's this Corgi Jaguar XJ12C uh, Coast Guard car. Uh, it's actually the first one I've bought where it's got the actual red light on the side there. All the ones I've bought have had it all broken off. But again, it's, uh, it's a part that can be saved. Uh, good glass that can be saved. Uh, the grill as well. Slightly broken bump on the corners there, but maybe they can be saved as well. Definitely the lights. Yeah, rear bumper can be saved as well. Looks like the tow bar is broken off, but never mind. Right, so that's that. Next one is this Matchbox Volvo Ambulance. Uh, it's a Volvo Estate K74. There you go, 1979 Lesney. Yeah, some salvageable parts on this, uh, like the glass, uh, the piece on top, whatever that is, with a light bar on it. Uh, definitely the, the front grille, uh, possibly the back one as well, and, and via tow bar. Yeah, there you go, that's that one. Right, up next are some bits and pieces I've bought that I've been out, out and about, which is this Corgi Jaguar XJS. Not too bad condition. Uh, Seldom parts, including front bumper and lights, the glass, rear lights, tow bar and the rear bumper. There you go. Okay. Uh, what else have we got? Right, this next lot are a load of uh, vintage trucks that I bought. I'm quite, I'm quite fond of these when I saw these. So I think they're Bedfords, I think. Uh, Make by call be yeah, a Bedford Luton van, called it. Yeah, that's it. Yeah, I've got but good ones of these. You got Maystone Antique Centre. All you do just need a bit of a clean up, then go on the shelf. Uh, another one here. It's actually a Corgi va Corgi um, truck van, if you like. There you go. And that's another Bedford. 
There you go. Another nice one. Yeah. Okay. Uh, next one is this one. Slightly play warm. Want a bit of a clean up. But will it be restored as well? Uh, again, uh, another Bedford Corgi Bedford van. Yeah, Gretton Warehouse Limited Bradford. Yeah, so that's, that's another nice one. Uh, next up, we have this. Let's see. I think it's another Bedford. I think. Uh, just says Corgi. Uh, what was that there? Uh, Bedford. Bedford O Series van, there you go. Made by Corgi. Yeah, Kodak film. Yeah, it's not another good model. Yeah, quite pleased with that one. That goes straight on the shelf. Uh, what else have we got? Oh yeah, here we are. Yeah, another Bedford O van. Cadbury's. Yeah, good condition. Yeah, it's another nice one. There we go. Uh, one more down here. Now this is a, I believe, is I think it's Corgi again. Yep, Corgi. No, just a Corgi. But I think it's a Renault. Look at the front of it. But I'm sure some of you people on here may put me right. Yeah, Stanley, the toolbox of the world. Yeah, left hand drive. Yeah, good condition. No one for the shelf. Uh, next up. I've got this London Transport Routemaster bus. Uh, I think it's made by yeah, Dinky Toys. Here we go. Routemaster bus. Number 289. Yeah. Complete with the. Uh, I'll just put it so you can see it. Yeah, complete with the bar on it. Looks like it's over painted. Judging by the yellow van windows there. Uh, looks like the decal has been put on over it. It, it. it was probably something else before it became red, by the looks of it. Yeah. Okay. Here we go. Right, this next one is one I quite like. And it's a... I think it's Corgi again. Yeah, a Corgi Duple Coach. Yeah, yeah, it looks like, I think it's an AEC by looking at the front grille. Yeah, RW Carney. Yeah, so the roof could do the, the repaint by the looks of it. Um, So Andrew's coach on the back, okay. Carney coaches, whichever it is, okay. Yeah, so that's another nice one. Here we go. Uh, next up, if I can find them. Well, I've got some smalls here, which I found on Marketplace. Yeah, these little uh, these little rovers here. Well, I think this one's a matchbox version, though. Yeah, matchbox. Yep. Yeah. yeah, rover. Was that three six hundred? I think. 
Okay. Got a nice little sunroof here. Uh, well, these ones here are Corgi versions. 3,500. Uh, the police car version of it. Same again. 3,500. Um, yeah, another blue one here. Again, 3,500. And we've got um, a racing car version of it too. Yeah. Right, I'll leave those there for a minute because also with those, I've got the larger brothers too. So I have that one. Here's that one. And this one. Yeah. It's certainly well play worn. It was a police car, but all the markings I've got off it, by the looks of it. Um, yeah, that, that, that piece can be saved. Probably the glass as well, a bit cloudy. Definitely the lights. Yeah, uh, got two racing car versions again. Uh, these are, again, Rover 3500. That's another old racing car version of it. It's in better days. Okay, that's those. Just bear with me. Right, this next lot. Another load that I found on Marketplace. A large box full of stuff here. And all sorts of things. Here we be. So first one up is this, which is a I'd imagine that's S toys or S something and it's a 1940 Ford Woody Woody wagon yeah. looks like the hubs are broken off on the front there but other than that it's all better it's all there yeah nice little opening door there yeah nice example of that Uh, next one we've got here is is this one. That's a Mercedes, a Mercedes SLK, uh, Speedy Power, I think it is, one to thirty two scale. I assume that's a pullback. Yeah, pullback. There you go. Yeah. That one. Uh, this one here, the good old Mini Cooper, and it's made by I don't know SS. I think looking at that, I think that's another pullback. Well, it is, but it doesn't work though. Well, it does, but it there you go. Yeah, we can probably do something with that. Give it a tidy up. Okay. Right, what else we got? Right, oh, uh, right, we've got this one here, a Porsche, a Corgi Porsche 924. Not too bad condition. Glass boot opens up. <clears throat> Excuse me. Yeah, doors open. Yeah, that's that. 
Uh, what else we got? We got this one here, which is a Corgi Saab 9000. Yeah, uh, racing car version of it. There you go. In play one. There you go. Uh, what else have we got? Got a selection of oh yeah, of these uh, Le Mans racers. Various versions of them. Here. I mean, if I get them all out, I'll do one at a time. Okay, right, so this one here is a Corgi Toys Porsche Audi. In a complete with driver. Again, play one. There you go. Okay. Right. This one here is another Corgi Toys Porsche LD. Scale 1 to 35, I think it is, or 36. Yeah, another play one condition, complete with driver. Right, we've got two Jaguars here, which are Corgi, <coughs> excuse me, yeah, Corgi Jaguar XJR9, that's two of those, okay, yeah, all looking good. Yeah, we need to clean up. I don't know about the decals for this because it looks like they were put on at the factory. So, like I say, I don't know. Okay. Right, and the last one of these is this one, which is a Matchbox Specials Jaguar. No, what is that? Something Porsche. No, I can't quite make out that word. It's a Porsche anyway. Yeah, play one, play one condition. There you go. That's those ones. Uh, right. We also have. I think we've got one, I believe there's more than one of this. We've got two. No, just, for, just for two of these, and these are the Volkswagen Splitty Bus. I'm quite fond of these because a lot, a lot of the splitties, they've got a bit of character to them. Okay, you've got a light missing on the front there. I thought I was missing on that one. But yeah, they've got a lot of character to them, they have. Yeah, I do like these ones. Some of the early examples had opening front windows. Which is very nice. Okay. That's those. Yeah, good old splitties. Uh, what else we got? Oh, got another racer here. Right, off. Oh, right, it says Ferrari on it, but I think it is a yeah, it's Matchbox Specials again, a Ferrari five one two BB. Yeah. 
severely play worn. I'm sure it will look nice once it's all, all stripped and repainted. Yeah, there you go. See through panel there for the engine, well detailed. There you go, okay. What else have we got? Oh, we've got a like, right, we've got a Corgi cool Toys Peugeot 505 STI. And you've seen better days though. Um, the fun bumper can be saved. It's got a light missing. Um, that racking on the back can come off and be saved. Uh, back lights as well. Yeah, that's another good one. I've oh, got a. Okay, you've got a Mercedes van, but Porsche Crema Racing. And that's Corgi Toys, Mercedes Benz 207B, I think it says. Now, I've done a few van bangers before with some of these, so this be another one I can do. Again, the glass can be saved, the roof rack can be saved, um, the front lights. I think the front lights are built into the bodywork, the casting. But certainly the grill can be come off and be saved. Uh, the bumper is built into the base. Yep, there you go. Another good one. Uh, oh, yeah, that's like right, this one. I've done many of these before. The old Corgi Toys Buick Regal police car. Yep, yeah, seen better days. Broken glass. Um, the back lights can come out and be saved along with the bumper. Uh, the front lights, the front grille can be saved. Um, there's also the, the Kojak version of this as well, which is a, which is a, it's all about that, like a, sort of, I don't know, goldy, tanny colour, but this is the police car version, severely play-worn, but that's okay, there you go. What else have we got? Well, I've got a. Oh, this, this, this one here. Right, this one here. Yeah, nice snazzy one. And it's a Matchbox Super Kings. Just a Matchbox Super Kings, that's it, 1972. I think it's a, yeah, it's a drag car as well, because. Oh, excuse me. Yeah, the front. Completely lifts up. There you go. Nice new toy engine there. Yeah, so something to be done with that. There you go. Okay. Uh, what else have we got? Well, we've got this five engine. Oh, I think the dinky toys. Nope, it's not my mistake, it's right, it's a mat uh, matchbox series Merriweather fire engine, king size number 15. Okay, it might need two new tyres on it. Uh, the ladder can be replaced. Yeah, yeah it sw swivels well on two. Yeah, so a nice little cart in there, apart from the ladder. Yeah, okay. Uh, what else? We're getting through these. Here we are, there's another nice one. Uh, I think it's a dinky. No, I would say, no, matchbox. 
Matchbox Series King Size. Um, ready Mix Concrete. I think it says on there. Con yeah, Ready Mix Concrete Truck. There you go. Yep, yeah, severely playable. Yeah, ERF. Yeah. Nice, do a nice bit of detail on the grill there. Uh, the glass looks like to be cleaned up. Uh, the barrel, I don't know if the barrel moves on that. If it does, it's probably broken, I don't know. But, yeah, it looks like there's something on the back there as well, which is missing. So that, we need some work done to it. Okay. We've got, well, I think we've got two of these. Well, there's one. And we've got a part of a one here. I think it's what these are. Right, so these are, oops, excuse me. Right, they're made by Lone Star, Top Boy. Um, not quite sure what it's supposed to be, like fire tenders maybe. Uh, it's like the cab tilts forward. Yeah. I don't know if there's anything supposed to be on the top or not, I don't know. Yeah, so I'm not too sure about these Lone Stars. That's that one, almost complete. And we've got one here, which could probably be used as spares because the cab's missing off it. So that probably make an interesting donor vehicle. Yeah, there you go, Lone Star Top Boy. Yeah, that's him too. Right, what else have we got? Right, we've got some odds and sods here which I do all together. Right, so we got these three here. Right, this one is a Corgi Whizzy Wheels Beach Buggy. There you go. What's that one? This one here could be an LP of some sort. No, Corgi, Corgi Toys with Wheels Batoni. Shake Buggy. I presume that's another version of a beach buggy. I don't know. But so the engine can be cleaned up and detailed on that. Okay. Right, this one is a Burago. Chevrolet Corvette. Uh, like decals slightly faded here and there. Okay, that's those. I'm right, getting through them. Right, this one here is another vehicle I've not done before. It's the London Taxi, but the more recent version. Uh, it's the. TX1 Taxi. So I'm not sure what the artwork's supposed to be on it. Revolver. I've no idea on that. But I'm sure somebody on the DMC page on Facebook might correct me on this. Might have shed some light on, on it. I don't know. So this would be an interesting one to do. So good glass, that could be saved. Um, possibly the grill. Yeah, we'll have to look into this one, see what we got. Right, that's all of those. And finally, I have these three. One, two, and three. Right, now these ones are not really donations as such, but these are swapped. 
uh, from a fellow DMC member called Paul James. Now he's restoring a polystyl or polystyly, correct me if I'm wrong on that, uh, the Jaguar 4.2. Uh, I've recently built one into a banner racer and the parts I took off it, like the bumpers, lights and grill and glass, um, Paul's I had them, so he can be restore really his one, and he's given me these as a swap. And so, yeah, so uh, yeah, thank you very much, Paul, for those. Much appreciated. So we've got the Matchbox Mercedes 350SL. I think that was a police car of some sort. Uh, we've got the Matchbox Jaguar XJ12 K66 and you've got 1978. Yeah, I've done a few of these before. Yeah, yeah Paul said it, these could make good bangers, so he'd be looking forward to these being done. So this one is another one I've done a few times. It's the Mercedes Bonner Ambulance, or Bonner 2500 Ambulance. Yep, these are good ones to do. Yep, the glass could be saved. Yep, the front grille. Yep, the lights on top. Uh, rear bumper. Yeah, and that's and that's those. So thanks again, Paul. Thank you very much for those. Look forward to doing these for you. And yeah, that's very, pretty much it. That's my very first um, purchases video for this month. Uh, hope to do a few more in coming months. Hope you've all enjoyed this. I'll say it was my very first video, so. Please bear with me how I've done this. Um, look forward to any comments. Yeah, and um, yeah, thank you very much for looking at this. Thank you very much. Bye bye.